Hey, what's happening, guys? I bet most of you have a few, if not a lot, of 18650 batteries sitting around. Whether they are the type that have their own built-in protector, what I call flat tops, or ones with a nipple. They're incredibly useful. Incredibly dangerous, but incredibly useful. And uh, got to charge them, got to use them. So we get power banks, we get chargers. You know, you just saw me tear apart a charger last week. It charges two 18650s. But then I had a thought, what if we could do both? What if we can make a power bank that charges our batteries and use it as a power bank when we needed to? So I started looking around, and I came up with this one. The random jumble of letters to resemble English word DIY power supply. So let's get our 18650 out of here. get this thing out. So this is basically a build your own power bank. Pardon the noise. And it will run off of just one battery and it will take up to eight batteries. Let's see what else we got here in the box. One moment. All right, so also in the box is a USB-C to, I'm guessing that's a Firewire connector, not Firewire, a lightning cable for Apple. The top cover and an instruction manual, which is a, oops, a piece of paper. So it supports unprotected lithium-ion 18650s. So this one is no good. Flat top only. So no nipples. But that still leaves me with six that I can put in here. And since the voltage is always going to be the same, what you're increasing is the amps power bank 5 volt 2 amp 5 volt 1 amp 5 volt 2 amp 9 volt 2 oh so it does quick charge cool yeah quick charge 2 quick charge 3 okay look up here we can see we have an in that looks like a USB-C two outs which are USB-A's that in looks like a USB micro, and I get I'm guessing that would be the, <laughs> the lightning cable. Yep. So we should be able to load this guy up. Yeah. It immediately comes to life. Ninety five percent. Okay, there we go. It was just timing out. Now, one thing that I have read about this in the reviews is that this cover is incredibly difficult to get off. So you want to make sure this guy is exactly as you want it and that you don't want those batteries out or that you know how to get them out. You can use a spudger and get in there. Let's, uh, let's charge this thing up and see how it works. Okay, over here, I don't know how well you can see it, but yeah. Got a simple charger there. No, that's not going to work. It wants USB. 
I mean, uh, yeah, USB-C. Huh. All right, well. No worries. I have a USB-C cable here. Hang on. Now, one thing it said is it can't use a quick charge power supply. So this is not a quick charge. I'm just making sure. Got a USB-C here. And there you can see it's charging. I'm just trying to take a look at these clips here, figure out what's going on. Oh yeah, they are. They are down inside of there. That's going to be tough to get at. So my intention is to use this as a battery charger power supply on the bench. So I'm not really going to worry about the top. But if that's something you're going to worry about, you know, just keep that in mind. Now it says it won't fit one with a nipple, but I'm stubborn. I mean, kind of? Do I recommend that? Oh, oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. So it's charging good. Let's switch it around and try its output on my phone here. It says out 5 volt 2.1 amp. Yeah. Seems to be working pretty well. Now, there is a uh, <laughs> LED on here. You, know, you got to have that flashlight. Long press to turn the flashlight on. So anyway, I got this off of Amazon, and it was 13 bucks. Kills two birds with one stone, in my opinion. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys today. If you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys. Wouldn't be here without you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.